Hi guys, no I haven't, okay, well, it messed up on me. Hi guys, I know I haven't talked to you in a while, and I know it's been a few months, sorry. Well, I've been a bit busy, you know, with life and things, and computer. Okay, well, um, just got back from Anime Club, which is why I'm kind of dressed weirdly. So, that's that, and my family's talking downstairs. So, today I'm going to talk to you about bullying. Yeah, I know, people will be like, uh, it's talking to the ground, we've had enough of the bullying and stuff, and it's like, well, I'm going to have to talk to you about it if you just stop bullying people and making fun of people. Why can't everyone just agree to disagree? Like, how I'm dressed. You don't have to go up and make fun of me about it. Yet people do. So that happens. Um, I know I've been bullied since I was in kindergarten. I haven't really been bu bullied for since I've been in high school. Because I'm too, people will be like, ah, don't bully the short child. Everybody loves the short child. Why does everyone love the short child? Okay, well, I'm still very self-conscious about it because I turned from this little girl who was like outspoken, really out there, never shy, into the person I am today who's shy and can barely talk to anyone and is just scared to talk to the teachers too. So, um... Bullying really changes people, and not for the better. I know so, some people who were bullied turned into bullies, just so someone else can like feel how they felt when they were bullied. But that's still not right. Like, I use my experience being bullied to help other people who are bullied. I know I can't make bullies understand that their their words hurt. But but I know they just need to stop. I when I was in kindergarten, uh, the boys they would surround me. And they would kick me and punch me and spit on me and call me names, telling me I needed to be in preschool and all that because I was too short to fit in with everyone else. And I never had friends. I, I never got friends until sixth grade. So I went all through elementary school without a friend. I mean, I had one friend in fifth grade, but... She forgot about me. And I had another friend who I thought I could trust and she ended up blackmailing me. So, yeah. Um, I know now I've got like the closest friends ever. They're like family. And we've even created this weird little family together where, I don't know, it's, it's weird. But, um, just gotta understand words hurt I know from my experience I learned words bite more than an actual bite or they hit more than getting punched cause yeah bruises go away but words stay the memories stay I still remember my main bully from kindergarten that's the imprint he left on me. I know when I was in second grade, they, the, the boys would throw basketballs at me. Um, 
and I've also been sick for a very long time. I've always been sick since I was little, and the doctors don't know why. So, get it, being sick and on top of that being bullied um, doesn't work well. The mix doesn't work well. And it makes you do things you, you wouldn't really want to do. You're scared. Like, I know I'm scared that if I don't do what someone says, they're going to hurt me. And every time someone moves fast around me, I flinch because I'm used to getting hit. And I know I just try to please people so that I don't get hurt. I, which is not a good thing. I should really stand up for myself more. But it's hard to. I have th other things that go on too, other than the bullying that made me depressed and all that, but I just know bullying is what changed me the most. I mean, yeah, I can tell you a full story later on in life, but not right now. Just know, if you guys need someone to talk to, whether you're getting bullied or you're depressed or something going on at home, I'm here, you can talk to me. I understand. And I'm not going to push you away or call you names or try to find you just so I can hurt you. Um, so, yeah. Talk to me if you need to. I mean, I've... I, I, I have this website I go on to called Quotev, and I had, like, suicidal friends on there, and I would talk to them every day whenever they were, like, feeling really suicidal and all that stuff, and I'd talk them out of it, um, and then I kind of, like, had to delete my account because I didn't like what was on it, and now I have a new account. I'll put the link of the account in there if, if you guys have a Quotev and you, like, want to like private message me or something. I mean, I can't use the little chat thing because it messes up on Quoto, but you can like send me a private message in my comments. So yeah, talk to me if you need to, I'm here. Bye.